Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Let's get right into it. We're talking Pixel 6a and what I think they're going to do and what guesstimate prices I think it's going to be. So keep it locked all the way through. And this is, this is not going to be that long of a video. So already we're getting leaks of the Pixel 6a. This is insane that we're already getting leaks of it already. Um, what is it going to look like? Well, it's going to look like the Pixel 6, obviously. Um, however, it's going to have a much smaller display, 6.2 inches. Now, here's one area that I think that they're going to do in order to save on it from making it too expensive for an A-series device, I mean. Um, and that is with the 6.2 the 6.2 inch display, I feel like they're going to go with the 60 hertz refresh. They're not going to do 90 hertz or 120 hertz. I feel like they're going to go with the standard 60 to keep the price down. So be expecting to have a 60 hertz refresh on the display for the Pixel 6a. It will have the Tensor chip. I mean, what's the point of having the A series, which is supposed to be the little brother to the 6 and 6 Pro, if it's going to miss out on all those really awesome features that come with having the Tensor chip? And we know that they can put the Tensor chip in the phone and it's not going to spike the pricing. Say if they went and got a Qualcomm chip, that would be, you know, that, that would spike the pricing because getting it from a a different manufacturer obviously they have to buy that material and that's gonna reflect on the cost when we buy the device from them so the tensor chip being in there as they're already working on their second gen tensor chip codenamed cloud ripper so yeah we can see what they're gonna do with the leftover amount of tensor chips that they have not used yet they're gonna put in the 6a so you get the same full-on six experience basically um, I said in a previous video, and I still stick by that, I feel like with the cameras, they're not going to go with the Samsung 50 megapixel camera that we have in the 6 and 6 Pro. And in fact, they're going to go with the IMX363, the IMX386 ultra wide, and then the IMX355 selfie. And the reason why they would go that route, and it's not really detrimental to, to the phone itself, because um, we've been using Google Pixel phones and been taking really good photos with these specific sensors, mainly the, the IMX363 and the 355. Um, we've been using those, so yeah, it's just not gonna it's, it's not gonna rain on the parade when it comes to that. Um, at least that's how I look at it. Um, as far as the body design, like the not the body design, but the the, 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 the body materials of the six A. Wow, got tongue tied there. Um, I honestly feel like that this could be the first A series to come with a glass back and glass front. I mean, the 5A was the first one to come with a aluminum body with a resin coating on the outside of it. Um, so we've kind of stepped away from polycarbonate. However, I wouldn't be too upset if they went back to polycarbonate and maintained that design with the, the, the camera visor or anything. I think that could work, definitely. And I wouldn't be upset if it went back to polycarbonate. Um, I just don't want them to get rid of the headphone jack, but a lot of speculation is stating that they are, in fact, getting rid of the headphone jack, which is going to suck major um but yeah so what do i think of the pricing well if they go polycarbonate i'm thinking they can bring the price at 350 between 350 and 399 if they go metal 399 um 450 and if they go glass anywhere between 450 to 499 so making it a hundred dollars cheaper than the pixel 6 those are my speculations you guys let me know what you guys speculate in the comment section of the video smash that like button if you enjoyed this video and that's it. I told you, be pretty short. See you on the next one. And as always, law.